Hi, I'm Karen Hauer, Associate Dean for Assessment at UCSF. This module will share information about core clerkship grading at UCSF and how we are promoting assessment for learning for our clerkship students. UCSF changed to pass-fail grading and eliminated honors grades in the core clerkships in January of 2019 for four reasons as shown here. Fairness is a challenge in clerkship grading with the variety of sites, supervisors, and patients that students see. We found differences that suggested that grading is not equitable because scores and grades show group differences that favor students not underrepresented in medicine. In addition, core clerkship grades lead students to focus more on performing and looking good rather than focusing on their own questions and learning needs. Importantly, honors grades cause great strain on students' well-being. Students feel the stress of trying to do things that will help them earn honors grades. As we shift focus towards supporting students' learning, we think about how students learn best in the workplace. Students learn best when they're frequently observed by their supervisors in low-stakes settings where they can receive feedback. Useful feedback is specific, behavior-based, and actionable. Students learn well when they have some say in determining what they're going to practice and what kinds of experiences they will have under the guidance of supervisors who provide them with feedback and coaching. We want our students to develop a growth mindset. In contrast, students with a fixed mindset feel limited. They feel that there are certain knowledge and skills that they just won't be able to master, and so they avoid developing themselves in those areas. In contrast, learners with a growth mindset feel that they can do anything if they put in the practice to gain the knowledge and skills that they need. A growth mindset sets up our students to be lifelong learners and outstanding UCSF physicians. In UCSF Foundations II core clerkships, we've emphasized assessment for learning and developed an assessment and grading system that we believe will maximize students' learning. Assessment for learning means that the assessment activities themselves help students learn more and learn better. They receive frequent feedback that is focused on their own developmental needs so that they're continually improving throughout their clerkships. Assessment for learning can focus on all of the core competencies as students are observed conducting patient care, communicating with patients, and using their professionalism skills. In this type of system, students take an active role in their own learning by setting goals and seeking the feedback that they need to develop to the next step. At UCSF, we use what's called a work-based assessment tool called the BBOT, the Bridges Brief Observation Tool. This tool allows students to be observed in real time conducting different clinical skills with patients and with their team members. A supervising, attending resident or intern gives feedback based on that observation and then the supervisor or the student records that feedback on a smartphone so that the student has a record to look back upon with their coach or clerkship director. These are formative, meaning that they don't count toward the student's grade in the clerkship. At the end of a time working with a student, a supervising attending or resident will fill out an evaluation of the student. Together, those evaluations plus the student's clerkship exam score are used by a clerkship grading committee to generate the student's final clerkship grade, which is either pass or fail, and then a narrative that will become part of the student's MSPE, the Medical Student Performance Evaluation used for residency selection. What is your role supporting students in the core clerkships? If you are a faculty member or a resident, your role is to conduct direct observation and give feedback using the Bridges Brief Observation Tool. 
you will also be asked to complete a summary evaluation of the student in MedHub within one week of finishing working with the student. If you are an intern, your role is coaching. You will conduct BBOTS or Bridges Brief Observation Tools and you will coach and teach the student throughout your time together, but you do not need to complete a summary evaluation. This slide shows common concerns and myths that people ask about clerkship assessment and grading. One question that arises is don't students need grades to be motivated? The answer here is that our students are highly intrinsically motivated to become outstanding physicians. They want to provide the best patient care possible. In contrast, grades are an external motivator that sometimes lead the student away from focusing on patient care and more toward focusing on their own grades. Are Bridges students prepared to care for patients in their clerkships? Yes, they are. They spend a year and a half in the clinical microsystems clerkship prior to starting Foundations II. However, they haven't yet taken step one. That knowledge consolidation period will occur for our students after they complete the core clerkships. A third question is, won't this elimination of honors grades in the core clerkships place too much emphasis on step one? Well, that's a tough question because step one is already so heavily used in the residency selection process. We believe that our students will be very well prepared for step one, and in fact, their scores have been higher on this exam with our new curriculum than in the past. And in addition, residency programs will look at other aspects of their performance, like narrative evaluations and students' research and extracurriculars, as well as their letters of recommendation. A final question relates to what happens in career launch. At UCSF, we have continued to award honors grades in fourth year rotations like sub-internships in order to give students a chance to earn the grades that may help them in their specialties of choice as they're matching through the residency process. So in summary, this module has described how the UCSF Foundations II approach to assessment emphasizes assessment for learning. Students have the opportunity to set goals and to seek feedback, and they receive frequent feedback from their supervisors using the BBOT. UCSF awards pass-fail grades only in the core clerkship and defers honors grade assignments until career launch. As a teacher, we thank you for all that you do for our students. You can best support your student by discussing frequent behavior-based feedback and emphasizing assessment for learning. Thank you.